In the high-stakes skies over Asia, two iconic fighters capture the imagination of military analysts and aviation enthusiasts alike. India's Su-30 MKI and China's J-20. These jets are designed with entirely different philosophies. One prioritizing versatility and dogfight agility. The other emphasizing stealth and long-range precision. Understanding their true capabilities requires looking beyond nationalistic hype to the facts. Speed, firepower, avionics, stealth, and operational context. In this video, we unpack the hype and compare the Su-30 MKI and J-20 to see how they might perform in a modern aerial engagement. Su-30 MKI Maximum Takeoff Weight is around 38,000 kilograms. While J-20 maximum takeoff weight is slightly lower at approximately 37,000 kilograms. Su-30 MKI can reach Mach 2, 2,120 kilometers per hour. While J-20 reaches Mach 2.13, 2,130 kilometers per hour and can supercruise. Su-30 MKI has two AL-31 FP engines with thrust vectoring 123 kN each, while J-20 uses WS-10C or WS-15 engines up to 180 kN. Su-30 MKI has an internal combat range of 3,000 kilometers, extendable to 8,000 kilometers with ferry tanks. While J-20 has, combat range is about 2,000 kilometers, extendable to 5,500 kilometers with external fuel tanks. Su-30 MKI can carry a total payload of approximately 8,000 kilograms, including air-to-air, air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and cruise missiles like BrahMos. While J-20 payload is lower, around 6,000 to 7,000 kilograms, focused on internal carriage for stealth, external payloads reduce stealth effectiveness. Su-30 MKI can carry a mix of our 77, Astra, Brahmos, KH-31, and other short and medium-range air-to-air and air-to-ground missiles. While J-20 uses PL-15, PL-21 long-range air-to-air missiles for BVR superiority, some external stores may carry shorter-range missiles, but stealth is reduced. Su-30 MKI, approximately $50 to $60 million per aircraft, depending on configuration and upgrades. Cheaper due to older 4.5 generation, design, and conventional systems. While J-20, estimated around $110 to $120 million per aircraft, significantly higher because of fifth generation stealth, advanced engines, sensors, and avionics. Su-30 MKI, no stealth, relies on jammers, low-level flight, and maneuverability to evade radar. While J-20 has frontal RCS is very low, 0.05 to 0.5 square meters, designed for stealth in BVR combat, but sides and rear are more visible. Stealth decreases if external weapons are carried. Maneuverability. Su-30 MKI. Extremely agile due to thrust vectoring nozzles, canards, and fly-by-wire system. Performs high AOA maneuvers and Pugachev's Cobra. Meanwhile, J-20 has good agility for its size. Uses canards and body lift. Optimized for energy retention in BVR, not for knife-edge dogfights.
India is upgrading its SU-30 MKI fleet under the Super-30 program. The jets are getting modern ESA radar for better detection and tracking, new glass cockpits and flight computers, and improved electronic warfare systems like jammers and radar warning receivers. They will also be able to use new long-range missiles, precision bombs, and coordinate with drones. These upgrades will keep the jets effective until around 2055. China is building more J-20 jets instead of upgrading older ones. The fleet now has over 300 aircraft, with newer models getting better engines and improved sensors. J-20 focuses on stealth, long-range missiles, and BVR combat. Improvements are added gradually, keeping the jets modern while maintaining high numbers. India is upgrading about 200 jets with Super 30 upgrades. Contracts have been approved for radar, avionics, and weapons. These jets will remain a key part of the IAF for decades. China recently celebrated the 300th J-20 delivery. New jets are being delivered regularly with small improvements to engines, radar, and avionics. China focuses on numbers plus gradual upgrades rather than large-scale retrofits. Operational Scenario Detection Phase J-20 Stealth Delays Detection Enabling Long-Range Missile Launches Su-30 MKI may detect it with IRSD or Network AWACS. BVR Engagement J-20 likely fires first Su-30 MKI uses EW maneuvers, and countermeasures to survive. Close-range combat, if dogfight occurs, SU-30 MKI's maneuverability and cannon dominate. J-20 sacrifices stealth, if using external weapons. Overall, in simulations, J-20 often wins BVR duels. SU-30 MKI levels the playing, field with numbers, upgrades, pilot skill, and tactical integration. No fighter is unbeatable, The SU-30 MKI and J-20 are designed for different strengths. SU-30 MKI excels in agility, payload, and multi-role missions, while the J-20 focuses on stealth and long-range BVR dominance. India is upgrading its SU-30 MKI fleet with new radar, weapons, and electronic warfare, whereas China is rapidly expanding and refining its J-20 numbers. In combat, J-20 holds the advantage at long range, while SU-30 MKI is stronger in close dogfights. Ultimately, victory depends on support systems, tactics, and pilot skill, not just the aircraft. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comments section.